there it is. It's going to be Poppy on the Prophet, Beastmaster offline as expected, and you will have the mid Ventral Spirit. So that I am is the way to go with this hero now. Plus, you know, Abyssal's busted. And that that didn't hurt. <laughs> yeah, that, that's like the obvious one we talk about, right? Melee heroes, <laughs> very strong right now. Abyssal, why why mini blink dagger? On it, and when we talk about Ursa, the hero that essentially has two forms of blink to that, as we just shoot off, and oh, actually he's going to go down. Insania got the final hit out. And then uh, TP back home again <laughs> as he returns to the bounty rune fight. A little bit of a bounty rune dispute in the bot lane. I'm just watching Boxy get disarms at the right moment. At the same time, Insane is in trouble up top here. Moving in. One more clap comes out. Humber Man gets the kill. Boxy is running for his life in the bot lane in the meantime. As Nisha, he does have the wave of terror and he can get the kill. Oh, God. This is ours. He's just hitting him with the wave and punching him over and over. I mean, surprising as well, right? Because if you do lead these two in a vacuum, because of the nature of their spells, like they are both stat weak at early levels, but Venge is always going to be stronger. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, Yaps well gets brought by the first shape shift. <laughs> top, yeah. They all die. They'll get the summer man. Tiger does give his life for it, though, and Poppy makes sure he takes the goal. Well, looks like uh, they got to hurry up here for this top one. I think Insania realizes that he can't really do anything, though. Primer all come out. Death Prophet. He actually did begin the Spirit Siphon, though, so Zai needs to be a little bit careful himself. So that's going to be a long route for an app, but Timmerman, reinforcements have arrived. Zai might still go down, but now Mike is in a world of trouble and a world of hurt. As they'll just run him through and look to clap him down, they do get the kill. So one for one exchange. The Battle Fury is pretty much straight, sometimes drums first. So I'm not sure if this is like a common thing for him. Oh, Nisha. Well, he knew they were just in the pit. He didn't think that they were going to come and punish him so quickly, though. He is healing up a lot, actually. Find a lot of time. He might be able to bring Boxy down, but nope. Pretty good oh trades, God. but uh, Liquid are really like on point with what they need in this lineup. And this should be at going. least one kill with the Yules. Should it just be free? Well, Puppy has arrived. He's ready to give his life. He might have the Overgrowth comes out. Prime wave thrown out. The shape has been used. Beastmaster already down. Yapsaw. Thank enough to escape before they can kill him off. But Boxy pursuing on the Puppy with the roll through. They'll find and kill off the Prophet. That's what yeah, just happened to them. Oh. We've seen this before. Boxy versus Nisha. Boxy did bring allies, though, and he does have level Radiant six this time around. Turn. So, okay, that was cool. trouble for Ben. <laughs> oh, swap? Yeah, well, that one not so cool. He tried. The They're even going to try and take down the tower. illusion of him as they the continue their push under the tier two. And look at this, secret go okay. If you really want to do this trade, and I don't want you to think about this liquid because you're not as quick as we are with this push. Yeah, I, th I, th I think like maybe if people wanted a way around it, you could have kind of like a neutral creep score. And once the timer passes, you can basically accrue points based on killing neutrals, tower. and then you could buy items. Top towers I think you should try and make it a little more complicated. No, dude, I think I, I think I, I could, but we're not much more complicated. Maybe if we made it so that the neutral items had different costs to them as well. Pangalir uh, finds a hefty cost to his initiation there. That was sick. Gets the steal on the shield crash, then he gets the 18% damage reduction from both of them and then is able to just live. And it's like, why isn't this doing more damage? Oh, yeah. Uh, Nisha? Uh, okay. He did try for the TP. Tiger was still around. They bait themselves a little bit. Puffy will make it out. They get the Timber Man away. And the push continues in the top lane. It's almost like every time Liquid gets these kills onto the Vengeful Spirit, really it's not hurt. worthwhile because of what's happen uh, happening elsewhere. Ooh. They're going to make him pay this time, though. Mike, he commits the Exorcism on Zai. Zai says, okay, if I'm going to pay, I'm at least going to get someone to pay with. He picks up the bounty room before giving over his life. The problem is, you just commit an Exorcism. Matu had a, a bit of a rough start. I mean, having to go Yasha first doesn't necessarily feel that great, but oh. uh, gets his Battle Fury. He does indeed. And they now know that all these heroes on secret side are top because they just tried to jump Tiger. They will pursue him, find him because they cut the trees. His blink dagger doesn't save his life. They get the kill, but in the bot lane, they're moved in with the roll of thunder onto Ursa. But Summer Man, he's juking it out. I don't know if they want to commit too much further. He has got the enrage. Oh, there's the Yules. It'll interrupt him. And there's no real way out for Matu anymore. Is that Nisha with a swap in? Good save. And now it looks like they need to back off. Puppy did go a little bit too deep, though. With the shapeshift commit, he might try and kill off Puppy. Poikfa. He's going for the biggest targets. He turns on the Yapsaw, an easier one at that. They'll be able to find him. They do get the kill on the Puppy in the meantime. And now they converge on this tier 2 tower. 
They do have to go back to deal with Beastmaster, however. And Zai now in trouble. So Nikkei blinks forward on top of him. And Zai doesn't have a way out. No point in TPing. He knows it'd be interrupted. Double kill for Boxy. They'll kill off the army. They get the tier 2 tower in the bot lane. And Liquid finally take a favorable exchange. Secret had have gotten this one. They would have been like, perfect. This is what our lineup also needs. But now you have to fight through Aegis, Cheese, and False Promise. This is an extremely difficult team fight for, for Secret coming oh, up next. Puppy's been caught. Mikke is getting so much done with this bling dagger. It definitely seems like it's been the right item. And Puppy has no way to get out of this. He's the Vlad, he's the medallion, he's the mech for his team. That's true. I think Mikke's think, uh, really done a good job of that. The CIS region, we've seen Epic Kid do it a lot as well. It definitely is starting to catch on more and more. And there's the exorcism coming out on the Beastmaster side. Tries to block it out the tree to buy himself a little bit of time. No chance in hell. He even throws out the Crown Royce. There's Matumba Man. Do your thing. Can you get enough out? Needs one more hit. Did he stop? No! Oh, no. Nice Boxy, plate mail. He was owed that RNG after all this time, and it finally pays off. He gets the proc he needed. Now they can just run over the fight. Secret have four heroes dead. Is, is this right? Do you feel like maybe Matumba Man would be better suited with an, going towards an Abyssal at this point? Or do you think nah, stuns aren't the can't. problem? Yeah. I, I think he, he, he knows he's going to hit by spells. That's just the way that this lineup works. He, he has to get stats resistance. That's fair. I guess also you've got a lot of stuns, right? So... You know, it's just a penny in the well at that point. Like, you should have enough lockdowns to burst the hero. He'll try, he moves him in the enraged, but the tier sub coming out straight away. The Royal Thunder through, and Matumba Man swap out by Nisha. He's used to trying to give his life over. Instead, Oracle's the one who gives it over because the backline gets sniped out. Zai does get a kill, gives his life for it. The buyback was committed by Oracle, and now Matumba Man needs to back away. Have to clear some creeps out. They're just trying to slow down this push. They do not want to fight it directly. Koikva is getting a little bit low, but still has the Aegis to play with him. Boxy just disrupting so many heroes here, these disarms. He's still got the Heaven's Halberd to work with as well. There's no easy way to approach this Pangalier even at this stage. Yeah, the right leg damage is running out a little bit here, but nice they're still Koikva. just chipping away. It's taking so long to get through him. This AC, this Vanguard, doing so much work. Finally, they'll get it, but there's the Enrage, the Yules. They say, now what, Matthew? What are you going to do? What's your move? Shapeshift gets that there. They move in. Nature's Prophet will be brought down slowly but surely. They'll chase through the Rubik. Clean up Nisha as well. The five out are being committed left, right, and center. But Matumba Man, he doesn't want to go in. No enrage for 20 seconds. They just have to accept. See what Liquid's lineup needs. Because their initiation was relatively weak at that point. And, and now right. look at them. They're just going. They won this. They know Koifa has no easy way to escape this. They're trying to do damage to the four stuff out. It's good from Tiger. He so saves today. Boxy rolls in on the Matumba Man. The front row thrown out onto Lycan. Everything but the kitchen sink for a kill on the Wolf Man, but it's just not working. The sustain is too strong. And time and time again, Secret are repelled. They realize when it's over. They call GG. Liquid take game one. Beyond Epic League, game number two between Team Liquid and Team Secret. He has the last surf. He sees Zai. Zai could just be as good as dead after like two sticky napalm stacks. And he's going. Someone activate the jewels beam team right now because that's what it feels like. And with Tiger rotating in, it's just a swarm of sharks. They finally get that first blood. So mid lane, mid lane is pretty much the easiest place to be for him right now, and uh, he can actually find some farm. Top. Fight's going on. Extra drag back. So there's the last two. They actually drag Kunka back into the mess. They say, okay, every lock on top of you will bring him down. So maybe he won't get any big items, but he will be able to stay alive in the fights. I'm not sure if he's going to stay alive right now, though. And so just wail away at him, get the kill. Koifa did TP him with the boost of travel, the magic missile out, and they spot out Puppy and they'll jump on top of him. Zai can't help at all. It's not like Nature's Prop comes with any good lockdown other than the Sprout. But instead, now Zai needs to be careful. Magic missile, yeah, you give your life, but Koifa, he'll be able to get the kill. Blade Mail, who cares about that iron? Mid lane, there's an ulti flying in. Rapture as well. And way form away. He says, okay. Mikke. Is that all? Now, uh, Mike might be in a bit of trouble. Nope. They didn't actually do enough damage there. Mike is going to live. Now, Yapsaw and Tifa. No, the Echo Slab to swap out. They keep him alive. Blood Seeker is going to live. But instead, Yapsaw is the one who goes down. And Nisha to swap in. Now, he's in a mess. He doesn't have any bow either. He just has to try and run this off. He will be able to because Matuma Man, the Rupture, finally ran out. So, there will be a Rebuttal kill. It'll end up being a one for one exchange. But so far, not too bad for Liquid. If they lose more, however. It could be a problem. Quick for a sprouted in. The fireflies ran yeah, out, but he will be able to get away in time. Bottom lane. There's an A ulti flying over. Uh -oh. Yeah, but they have to somehow force Matumba Man away, and Tiger's almost dead to the sandstorm. 
And Dice Blast off the mark. Nice swap out. It's done through. Beautifully done. Just before you can do anything about it, like morphing back, the Timber Man gets brought down. That's a pretty, pretty sick play. Mid lane, uh, Dream Core. Yep. They're trying, but Zavuska Travel getting him in. Nice glyph coming out. So Koifa will not be prohibited from coming to this mid lane engagement. The X did control him up. The rupture is out in the puppy now. He needs a way out, but he's silenced up. And Mike ends up on the right side of the fissure, which means he will be able to get that kill. It's a tough one. Earth's bounty. Uh, oh. Tiger has a blink dagger. He, he has does. an ulti bottom and a ulti is flying in. Center. Stun in. Ice Blast to follow through soon. Waveform away, but it's such a big AoE. They do need another hit if they want to bring him down, though. So it looks like Matumba Man will not shatter. But why did Tiger start so early, though? That's it the was question. a bit questionable. Maybe he's worried that he was going to run away the and they've already passed oh, the ice block. Oh, 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 Tiger! <laughs> the ping in the ward, but the ping in the wrong place. Look where the vision was. They, they've done that. Strictly our predictive yeah. movement. Top lane. And top, so, yep. Puppy's gone again. And then you see Zai flying in, teleporting in, using his ulti and finishing the target off. But it's hard when Korkwa has travels and he's everywhere. He's bottom now. He's everywhere again. This cocoon is being chased onto. The ice blast through once more. And Zai won't be able to get out. I mean, Boxy can just be off split push at all times with his Necronomicon. Inched apparition with the cold feet. Your Bloodseeker with the blood right. Tiger. Jumping in deep, nice last clip on the Matumba man. He needs to be careful, but he can't get away. He's just gone. The big kill gets found. BKB activates. So looks like Quick is going to keep on fighting. And Zai, because of that rupture, has no chance to escape. They'll bring down Fenge. So it's a two for two exchange. Two of those are supports and two of them cores. You can clearly see that Liquid got the better side of it. The blink on Shaker finally coming into use a little bit. And Puppy. Uh, you can't blink out out of this. I mean, they're trying to reinforce him, but it's not like Zai can trap him. However, with an X, they could punish him. Torrent's going to be there, but the blood right means they can't all pile on right away. That's Outrider. it. Greedy gets punished. This hero was usually picked mostly because of the swap, but right now, Wave of Terror and Venge Sora, there's crazy strong bottom lane. Poppy has to put the Dream Core down, but the stun coming through for Tiger will not allow the escape of the pesky fairy dragon. And Yaxor, bonus kill on the side. Or, or, smart one, I shouldn't really give them ideas for getting more money out of us. Mid lane, Yules oh. on the Kunkka. Yeah, but he has the BKB, no TP, they realize he can't kill him. But him, hear me out, oh, they're, they're not done, they're gonna keep going. Tiger, in a wee bit of trouble. Nice swap out from Insania, but that does mean he's surrounded by the trees now. Front magic missile, they can't even kill him off, and that, oh, they do, they finally get him, but Mike with the BKB. Moving forward, Nisha protected by the Sprout. They push him out finally. And Zai needs to be careful himself. Epicenter is going to come in. Tiger does get up the Dream Core and shotgun down. And Zai with the BKB means he's not too threatened yet. But these right clicks are starting to add up from Mike. They'll keep pursuing through. Quick for his own BKB as Matoma Man stands his ground. It forces the back right away. And Yaps will be chased onto. Has the Fissure. Stun control on the Foxy. They actually push him on top of the Echo Slam as well. He's like, fine. If I'm going down, you'll come with me. But it looks like they might lose Matoma Man as well. He's trying to morph over, but it's not good enough. Alas, he gets the kill and is still hunting Puppy. Trying to move away from the they almost get the kind of quick, but he's a little bit too fast to get out and die. Trying to escape here, but the blood right will clip. And Mike, this entire fight has just been not hitting Bloodseeker. They've tried. They've begged with him not to return fire, but he is relentless. He gets his double kill. He secures a victory in this fight for Team Liquid. I'm not a, pro, a former pro player or anything, but I'm going to take a guess that what you're saying, Liz, is that Mike is a problem. He hits hard. Oh, didn't get the bash, though. No bash. Yeah. I mean, not you know, really a skilled bash player. <laughs> But they do find Kunka, who can try and BKB all at once. But Mika, oh no, the swap's there. He's like, yeah, if I just stun him, they have no way to stop me. But these swaps are cheekily coming out to get him even lower. Mika is on a monster kill streak now. And you can't BKB and TP out. It was a nice attempt from Nisha to put the torrent behind him and then TP. Oh no, they found more Matumba man. Has to E-Blade to protect himself because they stun him up too much. He doesn't get clipped by the Ice Blast. He'll look to waveform away. But Koifa goes in. BKB last year drive back. Yeah, you dream call them, but don't worry. Koifa is bringing the main mill to the table. And they pick off the Matumba Man. Dead for 70 seconds. Hunting for for more. Looking for a nice stun comes out from Yapsor. And now there will be a kill on defense, but the Yule's there on the side. Blade Mail says, please don't hurt me. And they're like, fine, we'll wait a few moments. But when those moments pass, you're as good as dead. Tiger turns around with a stun. They trap him in. BKB. They need to get him for the clicks now. But he'll just try for the Sprout TP out. They're the fast straight away. BK was owed it from the bot lane and he gets it here. Yeah, the other time, Mike actually hit him twice and didn't get the bashes. Man, 
Liquid is owning secret. And speaking of Quake 4, Yap saw his ready and waiting with the Shadow Amulet. They let him go by. They say, okay, you came to us. You've got no one but yourself to blame. But there are reinforcements coming in. The buyback out from Batrider. The Rupture being thrown out on Anisha. He just needs to get the hell out. And with the TP out, they won't have vision. No, Poppy ensures that he gives his life by using the way to risk so that he will not be able to stun or stop him. As well, yeah, so they have, oh, BKB, Boxy, oh. bottom. Oh, Boxy. He blinks in. He's looking for a target. He will whiff on the Ice Blast. And Poppy, he's just juking and jiving. He'll look for the TP out, but the official flips on. Kills him off. Death for 75. Radiant's top tower. To my man. Nice pick off. And he could be. Wait. He's, he's the X? They're not X to X. BK. He's going to be able to get oh, the kill. No. Man, he get back. Top towers this is. This is at least two sides here. Maybe they can take a fight, but it's going to be so difficult. Lasso. Lasso. They're trying to force the game in right now. Shaker's in trouble. Blood right on him. Blink away on the short range. It's not going to be good enough to get him out. He does blink back defensively, but they jump around top. They kill him off there for 65. DK is sprouted up. Even if you succeed with it, has now cost you two sets of racks okay. potentially here. So, you know, when you have that much experience with Wave, you realize that Wave of Terror is not good enough on its own. Apart. Look at this. Potential keys to the base, they say. We're going to force that buyback, or we're going to take your buildings as everything's exposed in the secret space now. Echo Slam jumping around on Mike, though. Swap out in Senior. So clean and easy cut for him. He'll give his life, but two buybacks forced, and he keeps the big man alive. However, Tiger will be brought down as well, so the supports give their lives. Me on the bot lane. They're pinging out Boxy. I uh, don't think they want to be, though. Poppy couldn't take that fight. Deadly Squit and Zai jumps in. Last three straight away on him. Now Fissure. Yapsaw thinking about going in for more. Boxy just getting hit down by the crit to Zai. No follow through. As Matumma shows up, they get rid of the Ancient Apparition. And Quick is running for the high hills. But there is a trail behind him giving it away. He will blink out in time. And looks to TP out. So, yeah, Yapsaw will move away quickly. He has a ward down to cover him. Moving in. Nope. He actually came Still back. Caught. I don't think this is a great bay anymore, Liz. This is something entirely different. They've lost the Shaker. No way back into the fight. Puppy will go down as well. It's a double kill for Mike because he got the proc. And now they're going to chase through looking for more. Lash is going to come out to control upside. Drag him away. Nice X back to interrupt that though. And now Mike chasing on top of Zai. Someone yes, when you sprout them, you're strong. But when the epicenter, when the damage comes through in favor of Liquid, there's no way to stand against it when you're divided. Matumba Man is trying to move away. Morphin and Tally in the strength. He doesn't have the damage to really follow through anymore. They are scaring away Mike for the moment, but Nisha is just being ignored at this stage. Instead, they know they have to address Matuma Man. Fire strike through. Gets hexed up right away, though. Colby's coming out. Oh, he put the big crit to hurt inside. Standing around with the blade mail as well. Works against Mike. And Zai is able to get that kill. But now the stun through. They're getting really close. Zai is going to be killed off. That's going to be his dieback. He's gone. Out for the game for two minutes. And Nisha was BKB trying to stand up against this. But now they're going to chase forward. Matuma Man. Aegis has been claimed. As his head was taken down once, but they can't find him again. They will, however, find Nisha. And yes, you keep your morphing alive. Yes, he's the focus for your draft. But now. <laughs> Now, who the hell do you have left to help him defend? The game is going to be over. There is not a lot that he can do here. There is nothing he can do but give another kill to the score for the side of Team Liquid. The buyback won't matter. And none of it matters for Secret. It's just a 2 0 Liquid. They just run him over. And not a rare situation for us to witness here. Team Secret losing to anybody 2 0.